Hello everyone, um, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be reading from Ephesians 2. It's a pretty well-known passage and I'm sure that um, you've heard a lot of people talk about it but I just wanted to give some of my thoughts as that's what I've been thinking about recently. Um, so yeah, Ephesians 2 and I'm doing verses 1 to 10. It says, As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions, it is by grace we have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. In order that in the coming ages, he might show the inco sorry, incomparable riches of his grace, expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God not by works so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork created in Christ to do good works for which God prepared in advance for us to do. Um, so I've been thinking a lot about how weirdly I've had to serve um, during COVID um, by doing the Summer Buzz TV and things like that, that are just ways that I never thought when I signed up for this job, I didn't think these are things that I would have to do or that um that would come along and just be like a necessity but yeah we've been given all these different ways of serving and i was thinking about how we didn't know that this is how we would be called to serve but god has prepared those works for us in advance and he knew the different ways of which we would need to serve our people and his people um and i was thinking how reassuring that is to know that he knows in advance where we're going to go and he has that purpose for us always planned out uh, I'm not sure where I'll be in a year or what God's plan is for me or my life, but I know that he knows and I find peace in that. Um, I know that from the sense of purpose and the calling that I have right now, that no matter where I go, um, God wants that for me. And he wants that in all the ways that I serve, that I would feel that um, satisfaction and the joy that I get from teaching others about Christ. Um, and he is preparing works in advance for me now that I don't even, I can't even comprehend what they will be. I don't even have an idea of where I'll be in 20 years, but God does and he knows what he wants for me in my life and that. And so I know that serving can sound negative and it can sound like we are less than and that we are servants um, isn't exactly a appealing term, but with God we're fulfilling our purpose and we're fulfilling um our jobs that we were made for. And so we get all the satisfaction and the joy that comes with that. We get the um, get to rejoice when other people come to know God. And I've, I'm sure that a bunch of you will have um, experienced that, heard people talking about Christ in a new way and been very excited and um, just full of joy and f um, felt the Holy Spirit within you just rejoicing at the works that you've done. Um, so I just, I was thinking about all these new ways and I was thinking about how wonderful it is that um, some of us don't know where we'll be in 10 years, but God has got this amazing plan for us where we're gonna change people's lives. Um, yeah, so I'll leave a prayer in the description for this video. As per usual, thanks for listening, guys.